So my name is Dave Gordon and I'm the Senior Vice President for the UK at Rolls-Royce Defence Aerospace. So Rolls-Royce comes to DSEI because it's one of the premier occasions to showcase our capabilities to customers from around the world. It's fairly unique because it's one of the rare occasions where the different parts of Rolls-Royce's defence business come together. We, we bring in people from power systems, people from marine, and myself and others from our defence aerospace business. And we can work across a whole customer base, both within the UK and internationally, that speaks to all of those folks. It's also an opportunity for us to really push our capabilities and some of the new products that we're introducing into the marketplace with a whole diverse range of customers, international, political, ministerial, and in my case, air forces from around the world. We look to uh, the future for Rolls-Royce and looking to sustain some of the key capabilities that we have. Uh, a huge focus at the moment is in combat air. Uh, we're a, a world leader in powering um, fast jets around the world and we've got customers in the US, the UK, in the Middle East, any of the typical markets you'd expect, we're a, a lead operator. Sustaining that capability into the future is really, really important to us. At the moment, uh, our primary products are things like EJ200, but also the Rolls-Royce lift system, which gives the F-35B its unique vertical lift capability. And of course, that will be returning to the UK in 2018. So a huge focus in introducing some of those key capabilities. Looking to the future, we want to be able to make sure that our people and the skills they have, which are germane to the success of that whole industry, are, are, are kept in focus and we continue to challenge them with new technologies. So we'll also be talking to customers, not just in the UK, but in new markets as well as to how we can work with them and their needs to make sure that we keep match fit to deliver. So more and more we're seeing the need to integrate our capabilities, not just within one particular domain, but right across the piece. And Rolls-Royce is really, really well placed to do that. And what we'll show this week is that we're actually showcasing that cross integration as well. A great example of that is something like the Future Carrier. It's got our MT30 engine in it, which is a Trent derivative. So it's taken something from the civil sector, put it, put it right into the heart of the future uh, fighting capability of the Navy. And then, of course, what's going to be landing on that carrier? Well, it's going to be an F-35 with a, a, a Rolls-Royce lift system in it. Being able to make sure that that's all connected up technically is really, really important. But the other thing we're looking to do as well is bring our services methodology to bear. And, and we're right at the, at the right end of capability when it comes to delivering availability and service to our customers. And we take that philosophy and apply it in all those different domains. And you'll see that on display this week as well. So both from a technical point of view and from a how we then support our customer through life, we look to be really joined up and leverage all those capabilities for the best of the customer.